Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Kuat Transfer V2 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Nissan Rogue. Now the Kuat Transfer is one of the affordable bike racks that has the features you would expect in a premium bike rack. It's one of my favorites because of its unique goal post design that allows you to step into the bike rack and mount and dismount your bike very quickly. So let's take a look at one of the features of the bike rack, which is that you can tilt it away. So just step on this lever and let it drop down to a tilt. And you'll want to do this if you want to access your hatch. So as you can see here on our Rogue, as we open up our hatch, it looks like it comes close, but there's definitely still clearance between our door and our handlebars, meaning we can get into our trunk, maybe grab our helmets, grab our water, grab our bags without having to take our bike off. Note how my handlebars are on the shorter side though. So if you have longer handlebars, this may not be um, as easy for you to do, but on the bright side, it's really quick and easy to take off your bike if you need to do so. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So first, to take off your bike, you go here to the back, you press this button, and you pull up on that wheel strap. Then you go over here to the front and make sure to hold on to your bike as you do so, so it doesn't tilt backwards toward your car. Press that button, lift up on that clamp, push that out, and from here, you can take your bike off and you're ready to go on a bike ride. It was that quick, that easy, and it was even easier because of that goal post design where I could step right into that bike rack. It's even cooler when you have the four bike version because that's all that space you get to work with. All right, with the bike off, let's take a closer look at our cradles here. So in the back, we have this rear cradle, which can tilt forward and backward to accommodate bikes of different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase this can accommodate is a 50 inch long wheelbase for a bike. You have this strap that goes around your rear wheel and ratchets down to secure it. Here in the front, you can see how we have a large front wheel cradle with different grooves for different tire widths. Now on its own, this bike rack can accommodate tire widths of up to three inches, but if you happen to have a fat tire bike with a five inch wheel or tire width, all you need to do is get the separate strap adapter and then this can carry that kind of tire. And then here in the front, you also have this front wheel clamp and this comes down and ratchets down to secure your bike by your front wheel. I'm a huge fan of the front wheel clamp design because I had a carbon fiber frame bike earlier and if I use the traditional hook that goes and clamps it by the frame, I'd be worried about warping or cracking that frame. But with this design, it holds it by the front wheel. And it's also useful with alternate frame bikes like women's bikes, children's bikes, or step-through bikes, making it convenient to use. Now, as we fold this down, you have different options depending on your car. Here on our Rogue, it's perfectly fine to bring the hooks out to the side. That way, you can take full advantage of the goal post design on the inside and keep it as open as possible. So the Kuat Transfer V2 has two different versions, let's say. One, which is what we have here, it has an inch and a quarter shank with a two inch hitch adapter. This version has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike. So if you have heavy electric bikes, that might not be the best fit for you, but like the Nissan Rogue has a hitch, which can either be an inch and a quarter or a two inch hitch, that's gonna be a good fit for you. If you want the extra weight capacity, get the exact same bike rack that comes with a two inch solid hitch. Works the exact same way. One can add on, one can take one off, but it's up to you with your bike weight. So you'll know if you check out our e-trailer website, which one will work. We'll take a look at another feature, which is that if you press this lever, you can pull up on the bike rack and then fold it into its portable position. So we'll take some measurements, one with it folded down so we can see the difference in terms of length added to the back of our vehicle. So from the bumper of our Rogue to the end, it sits at 32 and three quarter inches. 
We'll take some measurements of ground clearance. So under the tray, we have it at 19 and a half. Underneath the shank, we have it 12 inches and a half. So first is the length of the bike rack. Please remember that when you're backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot, that you have the extra length added from behind your bumper. As for ground clearance, when you're going up steep inclines like driveways or hills, you'll appreciate that slight shank rise because then your bikes are sitting a little bit higher up because as your front goes up, your back goes down. So you want as much ground clearance as you can get. Then we'll fold it right back up so that we can compare those measurements. Measuring from our bumper to the end of the goal post, we have it at eight and a half inches. And then it sits out a little bit further where that lever is and that sits at 11 inches. Big difference compared to when it was folded down. You definitely want it in this position when you're driving around town. Closest point would be from this front cradle to the bumper and that's two and a half inches of clearance. Plenty of clearance. With it folded up, let's see how it works on our Nissan Rogue. So our rear window is completely open. Our, license, our um, tail lights are completely visible. Now this is where the Kua transfer shines. So we have our backup camera right over here as well as our license plate. Now we have this big clearance on our bike rack. This is a lot more obvious on other vehicles that are closer when it comes to their license plate or their backup camera to the ground. Now our Nissan Rogue has had a pretty good history with our platform racks. They usually don't come up high enough to cover that license plate. But if you are using this on other vehicles, you'll definitely see how this is super, super useful for keeping this open. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So again, the Nissan Rogue can have an inch and a quarter or a two inch hitch. If you have this version with an inch and a quarter shank and an adapter, you don't have to worry about which style you have. If you have the two inch hitch, I highly recommend getting the two inch solid shank. This comes with a hitch pin and a clip. I also recommend picking up the separate lock for the Kuat transfer. That way you can lock both your bike rack and your bikes with this on its own. It only has a cable. This uses a security wrench to tighten it down. And honestly, that's my biggest complaint with this bike rack compared to the Sherpa and the Envy, which have a knob. This is kind of a hassle to use but it works to both create an anti-rattle connection with the bike rack as well as to keep it secure. So as you can see, as I shake the bike rack right over there, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle, showing that the connection between the two is tight and solid and decreases extra rattle and sway, making for a comfortable ride for your bikes. Also with it folded up here, Notice how I can just step on this lever. I can be holding my bike with one hand and use this other one to drop it down. Just one of the extra features that Kuat likes to add to their bike racks to make it more convenient for you, the rider. So my final thoughts about the Kuat transfer is I really like how we have that goal post design. Getting or having that option to step into your bike rack to lift your bikes off is really nice especially when you have multiple bikes up there and it's kind of hard to reach over. Now, the tilt away feature was not as impressive as what you would see on the Sherpa or the Kuat NV. If you have shorter handlebars, it'll be perfectly fine. If you have longer handlebars, you're gonna have to be creative with where you place it and you wanna, might wanna place it on the other side. But those are all different things you can think about. I'm glad you're able to take a look at how the transfer looks here on our vehicle because that was a look at the Kuat Transfer V2 2-bike rack on our 2018 Nissan Rogue.